Games held at Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got British Phantomweight champion Josh Wow after his successful defence today. Great, great win against Don Broadhurst. Yeah. Firstly, congratulations. Talk us Thank a little you. bit through the win, mate. Um, I mean, I didn't want to um, celebrate like I did at the end. I don't know. I, um, I didn't want to do that. But you know, I've gone through that much in my career. When it, when it happened, I was so so happy to defend. Um, I'm first part of the manager to defend the British title, so that's that was a big thing for me. I wanted to do that, um, and, and you know it's just a good story. And, but I, I, when I when I looked at him and he was down, I shouldn't have really. Then I, then I stopped and said, and, "But he's all right now, so everything's all right." But. Now you have had a bit of a rocky story. Yeah, you've been on a great run of <coughs> results, yeah. resulting in you picking up that British title. Since you suffered defeat to Kamaru Fire, yeah. and at that point, was you sort of? Contemplating where you're at in your career. Or well, what you're doing. I mean, there's a lot of things that have gone on in uh, in my life. I, I mean, I've everything that I've I've always dedicated my life to boxing. Everything. I feel like I honestly feel like Craig was this year's been not that good uh, in his life. My dad's trained since I've been eight years old, and he got diagnosed with spinal tumors when I was 16, and that changed my life forever. Um, and it's took it's took us till now. Um, till I'm 29 to come round and, and come with this man and get a team uh, to work with us and you know I'm a stubborn you know I was stubborn I was just sticking with me and my dad and we did it really you know we did it our way we took all face off road and everything um, I could I could I could cry us it's all come round it just shows you there's that much shit heads about in life I've never done no wrong I've not even got a parking ticket you know I've got a speeding fine I've, I've lived my life like you, like I've got morals, you know, and I, you think to yourself and sometimes. I thought to myself, I'm pissing it windy. It's not. It's never going to happen, you know. And I was seeing kids who, who, who are mis, you know, you know, you know what it's like. Some mistreat it and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, why are they getting rewards and I'm not? And it took me till 29 to come through all these things, and it's coming now, pal. So, you know, and I just want to thank all the team. Obviously, my dad, he's made me who I am. And Steffi, you know, Timothy met it. He's like, he's, he's like, he's like a brother now. He's not, he's family to me. Because you know, honestly, people don't realise what what a nice person he is, and to to do what he does for his kids, not just for me, for all his other fifteen pros. He lives and breathes boxing. Tonight, he was, as we mentioned, he was in with Don Broadhurst, someone who's had a fantastic amateur career. Spent a lot of the time as well at the sort of flyweight, the super yeah. flyweight divisions. Yeah. Credit to Don, but I think yeah. I think that from speaking to him today, I think he's gonna call it a day. Yeah. I mean, that that be that be sad. Thoughts it, my, my thoughts are, I think Don's been a great servant to boxing. You know, like the Commonwealth gold medalist, Commonwealth champion, he's been a great service to boxing. These two lads conducted the sends absolutely brilliant on run up in press conferences uh, to <coughs> what it is it been. There's been a lot of provado around this show, and it's that's what it is provided. These are. Uh, genuine gentleman at sport and just going back to the beginning of the story a quick one when i first met these 18 months ago we sat down in a little cafe outside of my gym and he was coming off a loss at featherweight to lee wood <coughs> and the great fight as well british yeah. title fight yeah, yeah british title fight yeah. Yeah. eliminated yeah. Yeah. and uh, lee wood ran all night and he chased and uh, that, that's how that went at featherweight he had a few months rest and josh were on verge kind of look it, it just it won't happen and shall we, shall we give it, leave it? And his dad's had so much belief in this kid. Nobody else has, but his dad has. And together they've stuck out his dad's, he, the kid really thought about doing it. He sat down in this meeting and before we even started talking, his dad looked me in the eye and he said, will you be honest with me? Do you think our Josh has got a major title in him? And I said, hell yes, of course he has. And I'll bring it for you. And uh, and that, that that's the truth of it. And uh, I said to him, what we'll do, do it my way, let me, let me do what I do, and his dad, full respect, he has let me do it my way, and we got a, we'd only been working together six months, and we got a call for a Yafai, and we did say at the beginning, if an opportunity comes, we'll consider yeah. it, yeah. and uh, that would have super banter way, and I said to Josh, you're a banter, but we went for opportunity after only six months, and Josh did well in that fight, he boxed to the plan I wanted, <laughs> To gamble the Afi, who were a world class amateur and yeah. who was predicting big things. And the fight after, Josh, I mean, he put 
Sean Davis Sean Davis Davis yeah, and Josh oh. made him record in here, yeah. and nobody can deny that, yeah. Josh made him record yeah. in here. Yeah. And we brought him back steadily, but let's not forget this story now. Josh has come off an eliminator for English, then won English, then he's won British, <laughs> then he's defended it. <laughs> All in 12 months we've done this. Yeah. At 29 years old, yeah. he's fresh. Incredible. This story don't end here, we're not happy mm. with this now. This is mm. done, he's won it, he's defending it. Yeah. He doesn't <coughs> to me belt. Oh, okay. He's won it, he's defending it. Me as a manager, he's ranked number five now in Europe, genuine European rankings. The people above him are either world champions, ex-world champions, or super flyweights. Josh is obviously a European title fight, and that's where we want to go. Yeah. He's a fine wine. He's he, getting better with age. Yeah. There's well, no doubt about it. Would you like to win this title outright, or as Steffi said, yeah. are you going to look at he, he would, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, this is not come down to it, come down to him. Yeah. He hasn't put a foot wrong. <coughs> He's not put a foot wrong. Yeah. Don't Whatever don't. decision Andrew, as I call him, makes, that's what we'll stand by. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we respect this man so much. If whatever decision yeah. he yeah. makes, yeah. that's. that's look, you know, look at the British Bantamweight and weight division. You've got yeah. Stewie Hall and Butler next in a great fight. Right. And I think it's 50 50. If Stewie's B, he'll be done. But the moves on. Jamie McDonald, he's the best in Britain. For me, one of the best, best fighters in the world. He's best in Arguably world. the yeah. best. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got uh, the uh, Burnett, yeah. the world class. In his unification. Yeah, in, in his unification. Exactly. Josh Whale is a real life Rocky story. And I know promoters like Rocky stories. They ain't a better story than Josh Whale coming off a 12 months undefeated run, English, British, defended it. What about giving him a chance at one of these one of these titles? That because right hand tonight would have knocked any bantamweight down. It, and it any bantamweight, it would. And uh, we don't go around calling anybody, yeah. but I just, he, want, he wants the fight, he deserves it, he deserves a big payday. And he, you know, he's, he's given his life to boxing like he said, he lives the life, 29 years old, he's young and fresh. That's now a stepping stone to something bigger. Yeah. We'll stay in the gym now, have a little rest. We'll work on things and we'll just hang it wins. A fighter can pull out, we all know how boxing works, he'll be there ready to go. But Tonight's special because winning, winning British title, you know, for me it's the pinnacle of any fighter's career, that's what they want to do. You know, there's only, there's only Josh on this bill that's won a British title. You is fighting for a world title tonight, it's not even won a British title. Josh is the British champion. But tonight, the special, he's defended it. You know, that's what, that's what you, that's what you, you win a British title, so many kids, you know, go one way or another. Josh wanted to defend it. We only won it in July, first yeah. of July. We've defended it in September against a great, you know, no, no, no pe people can't, you've got to give Don Borders respect. He won the Commonwealth Games in, you know, at gold medal. Yeah, Former Commonwealth champion, the reigning English super flyweight. Never been stopped. Never been stopped. Never been stopped. Yeah. Never been been stopped. stopped. only Askins beat him, uh, really. Josh put him to sleep. Then. Him to I, I'm over so safe and put him great, to great, sleep. Great story, um, seriously. So yeah, tonight, it, tonight was special. It's beginning for us. When can we anticipate seeing the decision regarding his next fight? Uh, on, he, he'll be having a rest now. I'm not having it. I don't care what they say. He won't <laughs> box now till New Year. Won't box this year. No, he won't. It'll be February this year. Oh, that's not a joke. Yeah. That's not a joke. He won't box now till New Year. You know, so we've got a lot of time to sit yeah. and wait. I, you say that, he don't care what I you know. say, but he really does care what we, I say. We, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to take over his gaff. <laughs> no, I'm not going to We already agreed yeah. this. No, but yeah. we, 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 stick right in. we, um, I'm always in gym, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running my own gym. Let's not forget to mention yeah. Sean Eastwood, who's been there from day one. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, you're in team, Josh's yeah. early fights. I thought he was a mute. <laughs> yeah. no, he's, he's, he's just well oh, trained. Oh, <laughs> he's just well trained. trained. He knows when to talk, when not to talk. Yeah. Just about to get a word in with these lads, can't we? Like, yeah, really. in, Anything you want to add, chat? No, you just, Anything just, you want to say, anyone you want to thank? Yeah, just thanks to my sponsor, JP Fabrication, Danny, Danny Phyllis, and all my fans who've come and supported me. Um, you know, they've come all up to, really, to Manchester from Barnsley. Um, thanks for everything, and obviously, my dad and Stephanie for making me who I am. Terrific story, terrific fella. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, Jim. Thank, thank you. Thank you, mate. Cheers.